Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So resumes are very important. Whenever you apply for a company, the very first thing that you do is you submit your resume to the company and only if they like your resume, they get back to you or you attend an interview with the company. While everyone knows this, still a lot of people do common resume mistakes. In today's video, I will talk about six common DevOps and cloud resume mistakes. Yes, this video will focus on DevOps and cloud enthusiasts. Make sure you watch this video till the end. Even if you're a fresher or an experienced person, I'm sure you will find this video insightful. Let's get started. So the first mistake, which is a very, very common one by experienced teams, is the add projects that they learn from YouTube, Udemy, or other sources to their resume. What do I mean by this? A lot of people plan to transition to DevOps. They plan to transition from QE, non-IT, development, and other streams. Now, during their period of preparation, they learn fundamentals from YouTube channels, and they learn projects from the YouTube channels or any other sources. Now the projects that they have learned, something like a three-tier architecture deployment, or maybe a two-tier architecture deployment, they put the same things in the resume. Now this is a very bad mistake that you can do. Recruiters as well as interviewers instantly understand you don't have experience working as a DevOps engineer in the past. So if you are an experienced engineer, and if you're planning to show your experience in the DevOps and cloud field, do not do this. Now you might ask, but what should we actually show in the resume? So you can showcase things that you have learned from YouTube, Udemy sources, but showcase them as day-to-day -day task. For example, going back, a three-tier architecture deployment or deployment of multiple microservices can be added as a point to your resume or infrastructure as code, the infrastructure that you have created on AWS, infrastructure that you have created on Azure, add it as a day-to-day -day task, or cost that you have optimized for your organization, add it as one of the achievements that you have done, but do not add them as projects in your resume. But what should be your project then? Your project should be the client that you're working for. Imagine this, or let's take a scenario. X person is working in TCS and this person works for a client called Ericsson. This person works as a QA engineer, now plans to transition into DevOps and cloud. Now the project this person has to showcase is Ericsson and as part of TCS, what do they offer to Ericsson or what services do they provide to Ericsson? That should be the project. And as part of the project, add the day-to-day -day task as CICD, add the day-to-day -day task as Kubernetes management or cost optimization, deployment of microservices, everything that you have learned from or anything that you have learned from YouTube or other sources. I hope it is clear. Now the second mistake or second common mistake is same resume to N number of opportunities. This mistake is specially done by freshers. What do I mean by this? We all know job market is harsh for freshers, unfortunately. So these days, freshers keep applying for a lot of opportunities that they see on the internet. So instead of being choosy, they plan to apply for multiple opportunities so that they at least see some chances of getting an interview call. Now, this is also a good approach. You should be applying for as many opportunities as possible because the competition is high. But remember one thing, you should not spam recruiters mailbox. There is a high chance you can get blocked. Instead, curate the resume according to the opportunity so that resume is found as an apt one by the recruiter. If the job opportunity talks about cloud formation template, and if you keep adding points about Terraform, or you have a standard resume that you have prepared six months back, which has a lot of points about Terraform, 
and you spam the recruiters with that even recruiters who are looking for cloud formation template it's an instant rejection and also there is a good chance you are bla blocked for spamming the recruiters so what i trying to say here prepare a standard resume with all the key skills but every time you apply for an opportunity make sure you look at the job description make sure you understand the important points from the job description and make changes your, to your resume accordingly this is the second common mistake now the third common mistake especially in 2025 is not having a github profile remember github is the new resume these days if you are a fresher you should have a very strong github profile even if you are an experienced engineer you should have a github profile with the challenges the troubleshooting that you have done or something you have done to upskill yourself or few projects that you have done to upskill yourself so keep adding things to your resume and keep adding things to your github and add your github handle to your resume just like how you have your linkedin handle just like how you have your certifications also have a section for your github handle just put it below your linkedin handle now the fourth common mistake is copy pasting be very honest how many times have you done this you have seen some random person cracking an opportunity on linkedin or posting about their success on linkedin you reach out to them message them ask them for their resume how many times have you done it i'm sure you must have done it a lot of times it's good to take inspiration from someone but do not copy paste their work because their resume is their journey your resume has to be your journey your resume has to be something that you have learned so take their resume if they share if they share it with you take it as an inspiration but do not add points from their resume because you might get shortlisted but when you sit in the interview you instantly get rejected because you don't know what's in their resume don't copy paste resumes now the fifth common mistake is multi page resumes i have seen experienced people creating five to six pages of resume understand this interviewer does not have a lot of time to read multiple resumes they get or recruiters do not have time these days to go through multiple pages of multiple resumes they get so try to create a crisp resume if you are an experienced person maybe you can keep it to two to three pages at the most if you are a fresher keep it to a single page or in the case you cannot confine the things that you have learned in one single page then go for a two page resume as a fresher but do not create multi page resumes people might not reject you instantly but they will find it little hesitating or they find it little overwhelming to go through your multi page resume now the sixth common mistake this is an important one personally according to me is not adding achievements to your resume i'm not talking about certifications i'm not talking about the awards that you won i'm talking about little achievements that you do as devops and cloud engineer for example you introduce ci cd in your organization it must have help your organization reduce the manual effort or it might have help the other engineers reduce their manual work try to put it in numbers introduce ci cd which helped reduce the manual effort by 25% which helped them reduce manual effort by 50% try to show numbers introduce cost optimization using carpenter and now the cloud costs are cut by 25% try to put those numbers now no matter what you are doing i'm sure it must reflect in numbers so try to show that numbers it finds attractive to the recruiters and also attractive to the people who take your interviews so these are the six common resume mistakes in case i miss something now i've curated these points from my experience from 
my experience talking to the members of the channel. But in case you feel I missed something, do let me know in the comment section. I'll be very happy to learn. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone.